it's your blood chance, aka Shadow Blade from Bloodshot Records or Chance from Bloodshot Records. Either way, I don't care what you call me. Um, but uh, due to the recent events that have been going on on Bloodshot Records with the Poser label, um, stealing my music, um, you know, basically claiming our channel as his own stealing my work and basically all around attacking me and just basically you know trash talking me and all kinds of stuff but um due to those events that have gone on over the last few days i will not be releasing my brand new rock slash metal album Shadowborn on Bloodshot Records. Rather, I will be releasing it on a personal music channel that I have. Um, I'll be releasing it on my official music channel for you guys. As I said, you know, it's it's not that I don't want to post it on Bloodshot. I really do. But due to the events that have been occurring with Gavin B., basically taking bloodshot records running the name through the mud attacking me and stealing my own music um i will be releasing it on my personal music channel as i said i would like to release shadowborn on bloodshot but due to the events that have been occurring with um gavin b and his spin-off label slash rip-off label of bloodshot records called blood records um, I will be personally taking the songs, putting them on a new, on a new channel. Um, like I said, you know, I really would like to release the stuff onto Bloodshot, but I'm releasing it on a new channel to not only protect, you know, BSR from the stuff they're doing, but also to protect my own work as well. Um, I will be releasing some new dubstep tracks, so I have been in the works of some new experimental type stuff that you guys got to peep during the Evolution album. If you guys have not checked out Evolution, go do it. Go check it out. Um, also, be on the lookout for my boy ID Slim 12. He's got some new stuff dropping real soon. He's got a brand new EP mixtape dropping real soon. But um, again, guys, I do apologize that the Shadowborn album will not be featured on Bloodshot. Um, I will be putting it on my own website for you guys to be able to purchase. If you guys would like to, you know, purchase the album in full after hearing it on YouTube, you know, you guys will be able to go in and digitally purchase it off of my site, off my official website that I made myself from the ground up. You guys will be able to purchase that up there as well um i'm definitely excited for this album you know it's definitely my first rock slash metal album a lot of you guys have heard a lot of the songs already um i know a lot of you guys actually love the songs um a lot of people do enjoy them i know i enjoyed making them um i have a couple new songs that i just released well actually one or i think it was like one or two i don't remember that will be featured on the album. Um, I will be trying to look for, you know, a good label that's willing to take me. I will be looking for, you know, an independent label. Hopefully one that actually enjoys my work and doesn't try to criticize me. Um, if you guys are wondering about updates as far as um, that record label claiming to be Reborn Records, um... My best friend Brett actually did his research and found out that the label that's claiming to be Reborn Records is a false, fake label. Um, the real label is actually based out of Germany. So Brett wound up getting a hold of them. Um, he actually emailed them and sent them the link to the, you know, the Poser label. And so that, so that's getting all taken care of. But uh, major news about the whole candle situation it is finally being taken care of. Um, I actually got in touch with her old landlord, who is now actually a good friend of mine. You know, we were talking a lot yesterday. Um, 
And if all goes well, I will be going down to Georgia for trial to, you know, hopefully have Kendall put away for good and hopefully get her the help that she needs. If all goes well, Kendall will be arrested in Georgia and charged not only for what she did to me, but for everything that is done to her landlord, along with the additional charges, charges that she already has standing in Georgia. So hopefully all goes well. And, you know, I do get the chance to go to court and, you know, say my piece and hopefully help to get all this put away. And yeah, I mean, like, and you're right, Chad. I mean, the BS doesn't really ever stop, but hopefully the whole situation with Kendall does stop. I'm hoping. But as for this Gavin B guy, I don't know why he wants to attack me. Um, he basically commented on one of my videos underneath the blood, the fake Bloodshot Records channel, basically saying that. You know, he'll take the video down if I admit that I steal art, which I don't steal art. You guys know me. You know, y'all have seen my work. You guys know very well what I do. So, you know, I'm not admitting it, but his channel has been reported by me. I am going to have others reported as well. That way it can hopefully get taken down. Because this guy not only... You know, like I said, he not only stole my music, but he stole from Bloodshot when he decided to rip off our label, steal our logo, and stuff like that. So, like, that was, that was a pretty hard hit, but, you know, it's getting dealt with. Um, and one of the songs he actually took was actually for one of my best friends that's actually in the, you know, watching this right now, which is on um, Christina. Um, one of the songs he actually took was actually meant for her because um, me and her have known each other for over 10 years. You know, like, she's definitely one of my best friends and honestly one of my biggest, you know, inspirations, you know, writing-wise and music-wise. So, like, you know, when he took that song that was very personal to me along with a couple others, so, like, that really hit me hard. Um, we're trying to stop this guy, so hopefully it does pan out, you know, with that. But the good side of everything is, is that I am, you know, jumping back on board, you know, with the music thing. I'm finally coming back after a long time of not releasing any albums. Um, the last album I actually released was back in, I want to say like December. November, somewhere in there. And so I will be releasing some new content and I will be looking for a new outlet to release my work because Amuse does not like it when people use samples. So I will be looking for a new outlet to, you know, post my music up on Spotify and, you know, Google Play and all that, as well as iTunes. I will be looking for another outlet that will actually allow me to do it, you know, without having to worry about them, you know, saying, oh, you can't use samples or this and this. So hopefully that does get dealt with, and I am able to post up, you know, Shadowborn on, you know, Google Play and all that, hopefully sometime soon. But um, also, on another note, I will be trying to do shows this summer. I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not, um, given the fact that, as you guys may or may not know, a lot of record labels have run their mouth about me in a bad way. Yo, take it easy, Chad. I hope you have a good day, man. Take it easy, bud. But um, like I was saying, I don't know if I will be able to play shows or not, as you guys may or may not know. A lot of record labels have, you know, run their mouth about me, discriminated against me, um, basically ran their mouths to venues, basically saying not to let me play. So, you know, it's, it's a very hard, you know, thing for me to deal with. 
And a lot of people wonder why I'm not signed to a label as much as I need to be signed. And the reasoning for that is because of the fact that no label really likes my physical appearance. Like they enjoy my music, but because of my facial and physical appearance, they like to discriminate against me and say, you know, we're not signing you and this and that. So I, it's hard for me to find a good, you know, label that will actually work with me. But hopefully, thanks to a good friend of mine who I grew up with, hopefully I can start getting into a studio out in Toledo. I don't know. But hopefully something, you know, can be done. But those are my two goals for this year. You know, going in further into this year are to one, be able to start playing shows here locally, and two, to be able to actually find a good label that will actually take me on and actually pay me for my music and what I do. So hopefully those, at least one of those things happens. If they both happen, that's great. If one happens and the other doesn't, that's fine too. But hopefully, you know, one of them or both of them does happen. Um, one thing that would actually help a lot is if you guys did share my music around, like, a lot. I mean, like, you know, post it in groups. You know, tag me in the posts when you post them in groups. You know, share them to your friends, your family. You know, do what you can to put a word out because... That's one thing that would definitely help make some noise for my music that you guys enjoy is by sharing it around, tagging me, tagging all your friends, all your family, everybody that you know would enjoy it, tag them in it. You know, if they're a metalhead, tag them in it. If they like pop rock, tag them in it. If they like heavy dubstep, tag them in it. If they like, you know, alternative rock or like new metal type stuff like corn, tag them in it. Like, I got all kinds of stuff. But, like, that's one thing a lot of people don't realize is that I rely on you guys a lot more than you think. Like, I rely on you guys to share my music around when they're out. Because, you know, sharing it around is what definitely, you know, raises noise and raises awareness, ultimately, with my music. So I could definitely use your guys' help. You know, for this, this is something that I've been really working hard at trying to do. But, you know, like I said, hopefully this year is my year. I can finally, hopefully I can finally start playing some shows. And hopefully, hopefully I can get signed to an actual paying label that will allow me to, you know, work from home, do my stuff from here or in a studio. Either way, I don't care which. And basically pay me for what I do without having to pay a certain fee to sign to their label. At least I'm hoping. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to hop off here, get the other channel back up and running where I will be posting a lot more of my music. That way you guys can peep it, check it out. But uh, with that being said, love you guys. Thank you all for popping in and checking out this update. Um, but with that being said, I'll catch you guys later, man. I'm out of here. Peace. And wherever you guys are, I do hope you guys are having a good day, good morning, or good evening or night, wherever you are. I hope you guys are staying safe and, you know, enjoying yourselves. Peace.